What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your number one source for handheld gaming. So we finally got our hands on the ROG Ally and I've been wanting to test out various games on this new handheld just to see how powerful it is. And so today we are starting off with our first test of the ROG Ally with Modern Warfare 2. We are going to be testing it out on performance mode which is basically 15 to 20 watts and then we're going to be cranking it up to turbo mode and we're going to play a little bit on that mode as well so you can get an opportunity to see how it performs in turbo mode we are going to be bumping up the resolution from 720 to 1080p in turbo mode and then after that we're going to hook up the rog ally to the xg mobile eGPU, which the one that we are using is the RX 6850 MXT. So that's what we got in store for you guys today. And we got a lot more content on the way we plan to do this with every game in our library, along with new games that come out along the way as well. We're also going to be working on different performance tweaks to see how much more performance we can get out of the ROG Ally as well and feel free to let us know any games that you guys would like to see running on the ROG Ally in handheld mode and in dock mode with the XG Mobile eGPU. So far, I have been very impressed with the ROG Ally. It has a lot of power. This thing is gonna be really good for on-the-go gaming as well as at home within your gaming room or in your living room. This with the ROG XG Mobile can actually replace your gaming PC. It is that powerful. You guys are gonna see that later on here in the video. And as you can see here in Modern Warfare 2, with the ROG Ally set to performance mode 15 watts, we are able to get around 55 to 60 FPS here on this map. Obviously, your results are gonna vary based on the map. Some maps you get higher FPS, some maps you get lower FPS. But on that map there, we were getting cl very close to 60 FPS at 15 watts. Now switching on over to turbo mode, we are going to bump up the resolution to 1080p and we're going to change the, the refresh rate to 120 hertz. Everything else is going to be the same. Here are the settings that we're using for this uh, match here. And as you can see in 1080p with the ROG Ally is set to turbo mode. We are using around 30 watts with it plugged in. With it unplugged, it would be around 25 watts. And we are getting well over 60 FPS. We are getting roughly 80 to 90 FPS on this map here. And the gameplay looks very, very smooth. It looks really, really good in 1080p on this screen. It didn't look bad in 720p at all. It did look good in 720p, but it looks even better in 1080. And with the higher refresh rate, man, this is a this is a joy to experience. This is definitely the mode you want to play on when you're at home relaxing and you have the ability to plug in and you want a little more performance and a little more fidelity. This is the mode you're definitely going to want to play in right here. And a quick side note on performance on um, in Modern Warfare 2. Now, when I first tried to play this game, uh, I did notice a bit of stuttering and the frame rate wasn't as, it wasn't really where we expected it to be. And what I did was I went into Armory Crate and I increased the frame buffer from four gigabytes to eight gigabytes. So by default, the ROG Ally has the frame buffer set to four GB. And basically what this is, is the amount of VRAM that is allocated. And you can bump that up to eight gigabytes or you can bump it down to one gigabyte. So what we did was we bumped it up to eight gigabytes and then suddenly we were getting much better frame rate and the game was running very, very smooth. Now, as we can see here, playing the game at 1080p, the game is only using around four gigabytes of VRAM, but for whatever reason, Bumping it up to eight gigabytes really did improve performance. All right, switching things up, we're going to be plugging the ROG Ally into the XG Mobile eGPU, which is the RX 6850MXT. And we're gonna show you how well the ROG Ally performs 
as a actual gaming PC. We have it connected to our 4K 144 hertz gigabyte AORS gaming monitor. And right now we are playing the game in 1440p. That's how I normally play when I play it on my desktop PC. And we are able to get well over 144 uh, FPS in some instances, but we are somewhere around the 130s and 140s. But as you can see, it is performing very well. And this is why I say that the ROG Ally, when combined with the XG Mobile eGPU, can actually replace your gaming PC. So what we're seeing here is the ability to have desktop gaming PC level performance, but then also have the ability to take that same device with you and play in a handheld mode. And not only that, but the XG Mobile eGPU itself is also very portable. So you could essentially take this with you anywhere. If you're going out on out of town on a vacation, on a business trip, and you want to be able to play your games in your hotel room or at your relative's house on a big screen TV, you can easily fit both of these devices in a backpack. Have, it's almost like being able to stuff your desktop gaming PC into a backpack and take it with you. And so now that I have this, I'm almost looking forward to taking a vacation or a trip somewhere because I know that I can take my entire setup with me and have the same exact gaming experience when I'm away from home that I have when I am at home. And I'm not saying that this is as powerful as my main desktop gaming PC, which has a 3090 in it and 32 gigabytes of RAM, but it is very good and it's good enough. I mean, as you can see, we're getting very good frame rates here in 1440p. And I'm confident that if we were to crank this up even to 4k, we would still be well over 120 FPS. All right, guys, well, that pretty much does it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. We got a lot more gameplay videos coming up. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like. We got a lot more coming. We're going to be showing off basically every game in our library, plus new games that come out over time. And also feel free to request any game that you guys would like to see uh, shown off here on these videos. If it's a game that we have in our library, we'll definitely do that for you. And if it is not in our library and it's something that looks interesting to us, then we'll probably go ahead and get the game and then show you how it works and performs in on the ROG Ally. Uh, and handheld mode as well as the with the eGPU. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.